When you play FIFA, you're always looking to have at least a few players who are absolutely rapid. I mean, who the hell wants to use somebody who's slower than your nan? But come on, you don't want to be really sweaty, do you? Unless your gaming tag is something like XX Speed Demon, and if it is, just leave. Just unsubscribe from us. So, with FIFA already taking over your life, you probably need to know everything about it. So today, we're going to be looking at the 10 slowest players on FIFA 18. Oh, and what you're watching in the background, interspersed with a few pictures of these really, really slow players, is me using the slowest player in the game against a really pretty crap team and scoring a goal with it, which I'm pretty proud about. So with that being said, let's get on with this list of really slow, slow people. Number 10, Oriland Farav. 29 pace. So number 10 on this list is somebody who would probably run the 100 meters in about 3 minutes. He's also 39 so if he did run he'd more than likely crumble into a big pile of bones. On the last game he was a centre back and was actually decently rated as a 65. He's now rated 59. 29 pace plus 32 stamina equals a really, really, really slow death. Number 9 Dave McClay 29 pace. Another 39 year old with 29 pace and legs that are probably older than a fresh takeaway burger, sadly his rapid pace couldn't help him save Drug Ahead United from relegation in the Irish League last season. Number 8 Paul Robinson, pace 29. He is somebody that's still playing in the championship, try and explain that one. I mean he's always been a decent defender but he is so slow that he hasn't caught up with the news that Harry Redknapp has been sacked by Birmingham. Number 7 Jeremy Béchon, 28 pace. So right, this bloke managed to get a plus 7 increase from FIFA 17 in his pace. He must have been training with Usain Bolt or something because at the age of 38 that is pretty impressive. He was legitimately the slowest player on FIFA 17 but he's probably going to be considered as being hashtag rapid fam now. Number 6 Froda Kip, 28 pace. Another really slow centre back, but this one is a big Norwegian who has one redeeming quality, the fact that he is one of the strongest players in the game, and that is pretty lit. We bet you didn't know this about him, he actually used to play for Liverpool, but in fact didn't play a single game for them, instead spent two seasons on loan with Soak City. Pretty interesting, huh? Number 5, Osvaldo Vizcarondo, 27 pace. AKA Discarondo, because every time you get him in a gold pack, you discard him straight away, because his ass is way too slow to be useful at all. And yet, he is still playing in France's top flight, this time with Troyes after spending 5 years with Nantes. He's only 33, so we're looking forward to seeing how slow he is in about 5 years time. Number 4, Per Mertesacker, 27 pace. He's still faster than EA servers though. Oh! Seriously though, Pear is proper, proper slow. In fact, he managed to break his knee simply by turning around because he's just huge and really slow. Now you probably think Pear is a bit rubbish, but crack him into CDM and just watch this BFG mop everything up. Plus the scary Pear last year was terrifying and fantastic. Number three, Aaron Hughes, 23 pace. So in FIFA 10, Hughes had 76 pace, and he's now managed to lose 53 in the last 8 years. I mean that does seem pretty fair, but Hughes is still a hero for the likes of Newcastle, Fulham and now Hearts. He's also playing for Northern Ireland at 37. Really, really looking forward to Hughes and Northern Ireland making it to the World Cup next year, just to see how he copes against some absolutely rapid players. Number 2, Tommy Klesmodel, 23 pace. So apparently this bloke isn't actually a proper footballer if I'm to believe some of the comments on Foothead. He is in fact a member of the FC Our staff. So what the hell is he doing in this game? Well apparently you need a certain number of local players in the team so Tommy stepped up. He's 29 and wouldn't stand a chance of escaping when the zombie apocalypse comes. And number 1 Jamie McComb 21 pace. In the last 2 years Jamie McComb has lost 22 pace. Has he lost a leg or something? He legitimately has some of the lowest stats in the game, but he is 6 foot 5, so he can at least win some headers, and as you saw in this gameplay, score a ridiculous goal. So he is absolutely, definitely, positively worth getting in your ultimate team right now, pair him alongside anybody and he will put them to shame. And that's our list, which was surprisingly fast considering the subject matter. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to HITC Top Corner for more gaming content. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at HITC Top Corner and do the same on Facebook and Instagram. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.